Welcome to our tech troubleshooting session. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter when working with AWS EMR and Hadoop. Our viewer is facing a challenge with a Hadoop streaming job that uses MXNet, and it's failing during execution. Let's dive into the details of this problem and see how we can help. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by understanding the error you're encountering in your Hadoop streaming job on AWS EMR. The error message indicates that the subprocess failed with code one, which typically means there was an issue with your reducer script. You mentioned that your reducer script works fine on a single node Hadoop setup. This suggests that the issue may be related to the environment or configuration on EMR. Let's check the reducer script for any dependencies or paths that might differ in the EMR environment. Next, you discovered that the reducer fails when loading model parameters using the MXNet library. The error indicates a shape mismatch between the operands. This could mean that the model parameters you are trying to load do not match the expected shape in your code. To resolve this, ensure that the model parameters you are loading are correctly formatted and compatible with the model architecture you are using. You may need to retrain your model or adjust the parameters to match the expected input shape. Finally, consider running your reducer with a single task instead of multiple reducers. This can help isolate the issue and ensure that the model parameters are loaded correctly without the complications of parallel processing. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The issue with the Hadoop streaming job using MXNet on AWS EMR was related to the expected shapes of the data. It depended on the maximum value in the dataset. Training was done on a single GPU box with the entire dataset, while predictions worked well in a single node setup. However, in a multi node cluster, the dataset gets split, leading to different max values on each node. To resolve the error, the expected shapes were made independent of the dataset, and now the error no longer occurs. I hope this clarifies the issue and solution. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers. Cheers.